Hey guys! So today is going to be like a celebrity inspired look. Um, I recently got caught up with the new season of Castle last night and I absolutely love everything about Kate Beckett. She's just awesome. I have a little bit of a girl crush on her because she's just so cool. So I am going to recreate her basic everyday um, look that she uses in Castle. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting about a little more than a pea size amount of my Nivea Sunkissed Radiant Skin. And I'm doing this because one, Kate is tan, and two, um, her skin is always flawless, so she has really well moisturized skin. Now that that's dry, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Tone Correcting Concealer and just get the spots that are not looking good. Now that that's done, I'm taking my Dream Fresh BB Cream by Maybelline. I'm going to put a little bit of it on my hand. Then I'm going to take this Jessie's Girl eyeshadow that I got at um, the drugstore. And it's eye dust in. doesn't say the color, but it's like you can see it a little. It's like a really shimmery, kind of like a goldish yellow. I'm just going to. I mean, it's a loose powder one, so be careful. I'm going to mix some of it with the foundation. Okay, the next thing I'm doing is I'm taking my e.l.f. eyeshadow primer and I'm going to cover my entire lid with it. Okay, now I'm taking my fluffy brush and my NYC Smooth Skin Powder. I'm just going to go over. Okay, now starting with the eyes, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this eyeshadow. And it's a champagne color by CoverGirl. It's an older one, but I'm almost positive you can still find the same color. And I'm going to just apply it to the brow bone and come all the way down and the inner corner. Okay, next I'm going to take my blending brush. And I'm going to use this like caramel, like caramel brown colored shade right here in the NYC uh, Metro Quartet eyeshadow, and it's in Union Square, and it's a highlight shade. And I'm just going to go over my whole lid.
the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get started on my eyelashes. So I'm going to take my curler and get really close to the base. And I'm using my Ginormous Lash Mascara Infused with Growth Serum by Hard Candy. And you're going to coat the upper lashes and get really close to the base of the lash and move up. Now while your, eye, your upper eyelashes are drying and waiting for the second coat, I'm taking my NYX eyebrow kit and I'm putting it in the lightest shade, which is this one right here. And I'm just going to fill in my brows. Now, this is a trick I do for perfect lashes. I'm going to take my, it's the eyebrow comb, and I'm just going to go through my lashes. And while I'm waiting on the, the second coat to dry, I'm going to take my bronzer that I've been using in that random um, Ross palette that I got, and my fluffy brush and contour and now I'm going to take this is so I use the fluffy brush for my contouring because I like the way it blends better but I use the contouring brush for my blush because I like a little bit of a harsher line but for the blush I am using the NYC Color Wheel in Pink Cheek Glow. Okay, now to start finishing off the eyes, I have my Wet n Wild um, Black Gel Eyeliner. And this really small really thin um, eyeliner brush. It's not the one that comes with the gel eyeliner. Um, the one that comes with the gel eyeliner I thought was too thick. It's just another brush I had. And I'm just going to line I'm going to take it and I'm going to put it into the slightest little cat eye. Now I'm going to take the mascara and I'm going to go over my bottom lashes. Now I'm going to curl my lashes again. Don't get as close to the base. You don't want to scrub the eyeliner. Okay, the last and final piece of the lips. And what I'm using is I'm just taking my little chapstick, using that for a base. And the lips I'm using are the number 7 in Allure from Target. And it's kind of a, like a bronzy pink. I'm going to take some more of my powder on my little brush and line my lips just to set it. So yeah, that is 
<clears throat> excuse me, the Kate Beckett inspired look from Castle. Now, um, if you guys want to know exactly what she um, has on her in the show, um, for her face they use the Creme de la Mer Moisturizer, um, Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, the Benefits Powder Flage Over Concealer, and Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I could not find the blush that they used on her, but the um, dupe that they said um, was the cheaper version of what they used was the MAC Buff Blush. And then for her eyes, it's the um, lighter shade is Max Eyeshadow and Vapor. And then the brown that I used is, or that they used is the Bobbi Brown in Camel. And then it's the Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner and the Christian Dior Dior Show Mascara. And then lastly, the lips they use the Laura Mercier. Hydra Tint SPF 15 in Bronze Tint and the Bobbi Brown's Creamy Lip Color in Honeysuckler. But as you can see, that's totally out of my price range. So I just gave you guys the you I cannot talk. I gave you guys the cheap drugstore version of this. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. Keep watching and subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. Bye.